Hello friends, in today's session, we will discuss the coupling reaction that is the one of the most important coupling reaction, Suzuki coupling reaction. In previous session, we discussed the what is mean by your coupling reaction, why there is a need of the coupling reaction and we have discussed the Heck coupling reactions. So in today's session, we will discuss the Suzuki coupling reactions. Let's start our video. Suzuki coupling reaction is used for the formation of your carbon-carbon bond. Generally, the coupling reactions are determined for the formation of your carbon-carbon bond dead compounds. This Suzuki coupling reaction is given by Akira Suzuki in 1979. And for that, his work, he got a Nobel Prize in chemistry in 2010. The Suzuki coupling reaction is a carbon-carbon single bond is formed by coupling of your organoboron species with an alkyl or aryl halide in the presence of palladium and a base. The most important thing in Suzuki coupling reaction, that is a base is required. So the base is the must in your Suzuki coupling reaction and organoboron species is required that is attached to your alkyl or a aryl halides. Now this is all about the introductory part of your Suzuki coupling reaction. Now we will discuss the general scheme for your Suzuki coupling reactions. So this is the general scheme for your Suzuki coupling reactions in which the Rx and the organoboron in the presence of your palladium and base we get a at last the alkyl uh, the carbon carbon bond formation takes place here x may be your good living group it may be your iodine bromine ots oms and r may be your aryl alkenyl alkyl Okay, and R dash may be your allyl, alkenyl, alkynyl, benzyl that is attached to your boron compounds, and Y may be your OH minus, OR minus, and so on. So, this is the general scheme about your Suzuki coupling reaction. Now, let's discuss to the next slide that is the mechanism for your Suzuki coupling reaction. In first step, palladium L2 is attached to your Rx. That is the first step is your oxidative addition. The R and X are attached to palladium in a trans manner. Further, X is replaced, X is removed by NX in the form of NAX and O tertiary butyl is attached to your palladium. And in the next step, the R dash of your organoborane is attached to your palladium Further, cis trans isomerization takes place and further at last, after cis trans isomerization, there is a reductive elimination and there is a just coupling of your R and R dash takes place at your final stage and we get a carbon carbon bond formation at last. So this was all about your mechanism. Let's discuss towards the next slide. Now the steps involved in the mechanism. So this is the short trick in uh, Suzuki coupling reactions. There are four steps involved. First step is just your oxidative addition. Second is your transmetallation. Third is cis trans isomerization. And last fourth step is your reductive elimination. For your short purpose, these four steps are involved in your Suzuki coupling reactions. So remember these four steps. In every coupling reaction, these four steps are involved. Let's discuss some examples of, of your Suzuki coupling reactions. In first example, this iodine is replaced by your ET group attached to your boron. This ET group is attach 
at your IOD in place. We have used NaOET as a base in first example. In second example, there is a bromine group. It's replaced by your just a this bond is break and there is at last this CC bond formation takes place. The third example is an interesting example. Here at place of hydrogen, there is a just a borane attached with your two group that may be OR or O. OH. This bond is broken and that is attached to your first of all iodine group because the reactivity order of iodine, bromine, chlorine, this is your reactivity order. First iodine is greater than further bromine, then chlorine and then fluorine. So that's why this uh, first bond formation takes place between the iodine and further if we treat with a Another group, then that will replace these two bromine atoms. So this was the interesting example for of a Suzuki coupling reactions. Let's discuss some more examples of Suzuki coupling reaction. In the fourth example, here X may be your 9 BBN group. 9 BBN group and uh, further this 9 BBN group is attached to your phenyl ring and we get a at last a carbon carbon single bond formation takes place at last. Similarly here there is a CF3 to the para of CF3 this fluorine group bond is broken and that boron bond phenyl ring is attached it at the para position of your CF3 group. Here the metal used is nickel. Sometimes nickel is also used in the place of palladium catalyst. And base, there are three types of base, K2CO3, NaET3 and NaOET. These three bases are involved in your Suzuki coupling reaction. In last example, just this bond is broken and that is attached to your phenyl ring of your bromine. Here palladium and base, any base is used and we get a, this new CC bond formation takes place at last. So this was all about today's session for your Suzuki coupling reaction. So for more informative videos for your upcoming examination, please like the channel, subscribe the channel, share with your friends and thank you for watching this video.